previous question was all about diving, so I thought I'd give you a few more images of divers doing their thing. So remember that the diver, when they hit the water, they had a negative velocity, and that negative velocity did not indicate they were slowing down. Instead, it indicated a direction. That's all the negative sign is doing. So if your velocity is negative, it simply means that your movement is left, left or down, depending on the context of the problem. If your velocity is positive, you're not speeding up. Nah, -uh. that just means that your movement is either to the right or up, again, depending on the context of the problem. Well, what if your velocity is zero? What does that mean? If your velocity is zero, that means you're pretty much not moving. You're standing still. So velocity is zero, there is no movement. All right, we got one more question, which is gonna lead us to the last part of this lesson, or at least this objective. Kenny gets into his automobile and puts it into reverse. If he backs out of his driveway at a velocity of negative five miles per hour, what does his speedometer read? Well, have you ever looked down at your speedometer? Does it have any negative numbers on it? No. And the reason why is because speedometer, as the word implies, measures speed, not velocity. And how do you get speed from velocity? You take its absolute value. That's right. So speed, we don't care what direction it is. We just care how fast it's going. So to get that, it is uh, just the absolute value. Chop off the sign of the velocity. Okay, and it is absolutely something that you'll have to do in, uh, in calculus, both in class, on the tests, on quizzes, on the actual AP exam, calculate the speed of something. How do I do that? Well, I find the instantaneous velocity, and when I'm done, just take its absolute value. All right, to wrap up here, we have a thousand names basically for the same thing. We've been talking about finding the slope of a tangent line. Finding the slope of a tangent line is the same thing as finding the slope of the function at a particular point. It's the same thing as finding the instantaneous rate of change. In terms of physics, it means it's the instantaneous velocity, what we were just doing in the previous example. And what we are about to see, there's another name for it, and it is finding the derivative at a point on that function. And it has a new notation, and it has a little prime mark. And I read that f prime of a. It means find the derivative at a. It means to find the instantaneous velocity at time t equals a. Find the instantaneous rate of change at a. It means to find the slope at a, the slope of the tangent line.